Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Back Ooh, up in it. New shoe. Taking a look here at a new Adidas shoe. This is weird, man. This uh -huh. looks very weird. Um, it's called the Pro Vision, I believe. Yeah, the Pro Vision. Um, it, it, if you guys don't remember, John Wall was playing these in, in the beginning of the season, I believe. And everyone was like, what is that? But I, it's just a budget model. This was like a hundred bucks. Mm. And I got it on sale with their, get $20 off a hundred dollars. I got it for 80 bucks oh. on the new shoe, which is really interesting. I got it and then it's not on their site anymore. So it's kind of, I, I, it, that had happened with me with the Harden. So I, the I think, BEs? Yeah, the BEs. Like, yeah. I think I got it and it wasn't supposed to go on, on the site. Cause like you can search it up on their site, but then once you click it, it goes back to the home page. Right. So maybe it's just today. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, I can't see like the tech. You know, I, that's why I went on the site to see the tech specs on the shoe. But, anyways, it's a hundred dollar shoe, cheap, uses bounce cushion, so I was very interested in it. And let's get started with the traction. Mm -hmm. You have herringbone. I like what Adidas is doing. Keep I like it this. simple, dude. Gum herringbone. Yes. That's how you do it. And it looks like the Harden Volume 3 with this little yeah. uh, toe thing, remember? Watch the traction be garbage. <laughs> that, that, that would, <laughs> That's yeah. how you do it. That would suck, bro. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the pattern seems good. The rubber is pretty hard. So, I mean, I'll throw you should be okay uh, and thick. So, yeah, I'll throw yeah. you should be good. Um, it's sticking on my wood floor. So, it, uh, I, feel like, I feel like it'll be pretty good on court. We'll have to see. Um, but, yeah, the only thing... That needs to be right is obviously the, the compound of the rubber. If the compound of the rubber is very good, then the traction is going to be on point. Not mad at it. You can't go wrong with hanging one, I guess, unless the, the compound sucks. Yeah. So there's a traction there. Moving on to the cushion. The cushion, if I remember correctly, is bounce cushion. So uh, it's a bounce cushion. It's pretty pretty stiff in hand yeah um, it looks super thick but a lot of that is just a lot of that is just caging coming yes, up on the side exactly I, it does look to be full length though yeah, how does it feel you feel it at all um i mean there's a little bit of compression in the heel but nothing too crazy yeah i feel like it's gonna be like a pro bounce right it feels like they stiffen up the the cushion a little bit mm -hmm. um, maybe put in a little bit more i don't know something that's not as soft so it's not the softest most compression compression -y, cushion that I felt but it's not bad and it's just bounce so I feel like it's going to be uh, I guess just good impact protection it doesn't feel bouncy at all but anyways there's that it feels really like um, the court feel seems to be pretty good though so um, you're definitely uh, a lot lower than where the cushion sits up and the insole is actually not bad if you feel the insole hmm. it's not their paper sock it, damn for, for a yeah. budget that's pretty, it's it feels, pretty good yeah it feels kind of memory for me so like the uh, the stepping cover is actually pretty nice as mm -hmm. well. So cushion, not bad, um, but doesn't seem amazing. So there's that. Moving on to the materials. Hmm. This uh, is a trip, this shoe. Yeah, so you have in the toe, you have a very shitty synthetic suede, or maybe it's real, but it feels pretty shitty. Yeah, it has almost like, like a felt, felt paper yeah. vibe to it. You have some uh, holes in it for ventilation, I guess, but it doesn't really go all the way through. In the, in the tongue, you have some mesh material. And then all the way on top of the tongue, you have you have the same uh, sh uh, shit suede. Mm -hmm. And it's really weird. Look at this tongue, dude. The tongue goes over. It doesn't go under it. Yeah, it goes over it. So that's really weird. I've never seen a shoe that does that. Yeah, and then the eyelets this are like attached to this cage wing, yeah. these caged wing pieces that go over the tongue. That's kind of dope. I kind of like kinda that dope. design. Uh, I, I, I don't know if that's going to be good for like, I guess, helping with the, the fit and I, I don't know how that's going to be with the tongue being on the outside of the shoe but um we'll have to see i have to actually play in these and how to see how containment is but as of right now it feels pretty nice uh the material is more like a plastic it's a plastic kind of rubbery material for the wings yeah it's like a screen mesh plastic mesh yeah and then in the back you have more of a textile upper which actually feels nice and you have this cup as well around the ankle. It's, it's more like a, of a sweater collar. Yeah. Super cushiony. It's not super stretchy. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? This is a Dame 5. 
it's not stretchy. It's not like stretchy to the point where it like kind of stretches over your, I guess, ankle. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like puffy though. Right. So it feels pretty nice. What about these Achilles Dude, pillows? Dude, these Achilles pillows feel nice. These are the craziest Achilles pillows I've ever seen. Adidas. Why didn't you guys do this sooner? I mean, you everyone that. should do that. They never put Achilles pillows in their shoes, yeah. man. So uh, I'm really happy. Happy they did that. It's really weird because. I mean, there is an internal TPU view counter. Right. Uh, at first, I thought there wasn't going to be, but there is. So there's that as well. But also, the, the cushion and the midsole looks to be caging you in as well on the lateral side for lateral containment. So that seems good. Materials, I mean, I, aside from the shitty suede, uh, materials don't seem bad, bad with the textile and the mesh. So. Mm -hmm. And also, like I guess on foot, it gets soft. It's actually pretty soft and pretty thin. So uh, I guess like on foot and perform performance wise, it's gonna be good. But it just doesn't feel great in hand. Yeah. So that's just what I'm trying to say. But anyways, there's materials there. Fit. Go true to your Adidas size. Um, it's it's really weird because like when I put it on, yeah, you know, width is it's slightly narrow. But um, so watch out if you're a wide footer. But also like it's really <laughs> the toe space is really tight. Yeah, you know I, that's been happening to me a little bit. Really weird. And it's almost squeezing on your toe. Yeah, like like this way. Yeah. This way. So uh, the toe space is a little tight, but I kind of like that. I'd rather have it a little tight because materials do stretch out over time once you break it in. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you can't really fix. I mean, I guess you can with like an insole, but if there's a lot of dead space in the toe, um, that just feels like shit. But to me, that's, I really don't like that feeling. So, um, but to, one way to remedy that is to add an insole. But I don't really like adding an insole. So, uh, fit is actually pretty nice. It's a little tight for me right now, though. You, you can have too little toe space as well. Yeah. Which yeah. I've been noticing a little bit. <laughs> it's a little too tight. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but for me, it, it's it's okay. It's just a little tight. So uh, I guess watch out if you're a thick footer and wide footer. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, go true to your Adidas size. Length seems to be good. So fit. It's actually pretty nice. Um, designed ooh. in Brooklyn for game day and any day. Brooklyn. Uh, designed at their creator studio or something. Oh really? Also, there's a eleven two 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 written on the tongue. Maybe yeah. that's the address of the of the place where it, it was designed. No, it's Illuminati, dude. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. There's, there's so many guys. Everyone's like Illuminati. Dude. Listen, this ain't the Kyrie Five. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, fit seems pretty good for me as of right now. Supporting lockdown also seems really good. The midsole comes up a lot and the materials are very supportive. It feels like it doesn't really stretch at all. So um, I also like that and it's a very, very wide shoe. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's very wide. The outrigger and like the cushion, dude, that's that's crazy. Which is great. Yeah, which is great for, uh, I guess, lateral support for rolling and stuff. Uh, let's check on weight. Seems pretty light, right? Yeah, we're looking at about 12 and a half. 12 and a half? Right. I think that's around right. 12.13 ounces. Mm, close. So that's like average, I guess mm -hmm. kind of on the lighter side. Uh, it feels light on foot, but a little bulky and a little chunky because of the midsole, which Adidas does a lot. Um, kind of reminds me of like, ounce. Yeah, it reminds me of like the Crazy 8 and like old school shoes and they, they made the midsole really, really chunky. But I feel like if the traction is good, it's, it's going to be a pretty responsive shoe. You know, I'm not a fan when they like take the midsole and cage you in with it. Yeah, really? Well, I, I like it, but not if they like over, like see, see this bubbling? Yeah, I don't like that. Like yeah. you don't need all that. Yeah. You just need a little thin little piece to, to cage you really. Yeah, exactly. That's a or you use like much. a use like a little thin TPU plate or something. Yeah. Like a heel counter that kind of comes around a little bit. Yeah. It'll keep the bolt down and yeah. weight. Yeah, but yeah, exactly, exactly. But there's that. Moving on to aesthetics. I kind of like this. I'm not mad. You know, I mean, they look like super like um, technical. Like they look like like they should be more expensive than they are. Yeah. And they, they actually kind of are. This is a very different um, setup. They're very different design. Yes. I don't think we've ever seen a shoe with a tongue on top. I guess, remember the Superfly 2017? Uh -huh. That kind of did it. Yeah. But not as much as this. And then you have the wing pieces that go over that. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty dope. I mean, it's not my favorite, but. I mean, on foot, it looks a little bit better. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics of the shoe. It is a hundred bucks budget model. It has balance cushion. It might be a good performer, dude. So I'm very excited to uh, go ahead and you know take these to the gym and try it out. But uh, anyways, performance review will be coming soon. If you guys want a couple pair, we'll leave a link in the description box. But I don't know if it'll work because 
it's not working on the site right now. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Later, peace.